Our universe is full of fantastic animals that never cease to astonish us. But when scientists attempt to play God, the results are breathtaking. The abilities of these hybrid animals become enhanced. I'm talking about speed, strength, production, and stamina. Interesting, right? Here are 15 animals created by scientists that you won't believe exist. Number 15. Mule Donkeys and horses are known for their outstanding abilities. Crossbred together and tougher and more resilient working animal, the mule comes to life. Surprisingly, they eat less food but can carry about 300 pounds for 7 hours a day for 20 hours straight without complaining. As stubborn as a mule, no, don't let the saying fool you. Stubbornness is in fact his commitment to self-preservation, which is genius in its sterile form. It's as if every mule knows it has one shot at life, ruling out risky behavior and thoughts. If the mule does this right, it can live up to 50 years. Number 14. Zebroid They get the name from crossbreeding a zebra stallion with any mar from any other equid. I'm talking about any horse, donkey, mule, or pony. Most of the time, they take the color of both parents, commonly known as zebra mules. Zebroids physically resemble their non-zebra parents, but are striped like a zebra. The stripes generally don't cover the whole body and might be confined to the legs or spread onto parts of the body or neck. How these colors blend is absolutely adorable. Number 13. Wolf Dog Riddle me this. What looks like a dog and howls like a wolf? The answer is a wolf dog. This rare breed of dog is better considered a companion than a pet. They can be territorial and vicious. A good guess is that they got it from the wolf side. Their bodies are covered with way more fur than regular dogs, and they have top-class loyalty. Oh, don't forget how cute they look when they show their emotions. Wolf dogs tend to be curious about their surroundings and are undoubtedly amongst the smartest dog breeds. Given their strong predatory instincts and desire to roam, they're banned in certain states for safety reasons. Number 12. Kama Scientists introduced the Kama with the goal of producing an animal with greater wool production capability than the llama and the size and strength of a camel. A genuine breed between a male camel and a female llama. The Kama inherits the long tail and short ears of the camel, and the llama contributes the cloves and the hooves. That's right, they have no hump, just more load tolerance. Number 11. Dizzo. If you ever think of owning an efficient bovidae, you should probably go for the Dizzo. This large bovid, born as a result of mixing pure breeds of a yak and a domestic cow, is a powerful and productive, in terms of meat and milk, animal that does not raise farming costs. On average, a Dizzo can grow to be 5.5 feet tall and weigh up to 1,300 pounds. Males are usually larger than the female Dizomos. They have a cattle-like face with large horns, and their bodies are covered with long, shaggy coats, which is typical for a yak, in the shades of white, brown, and black. Fortunately, as if to increase the amount of load they carry, they have no humps. Unlike males, females are fertile. I know what you're thinking. Can they crossbreed a Dizzo with another bovid? They can definitely produce a three-quarter mixed hybrid, right? Number 10. Beefalo If I heard the name for the first time, I'd really want to see what it looked like. Mounting a domestic cattle and an American buffalo resulted in this fertile hybrid. Once again, scientists have had an outstanding breakthrough by giving us this superior creature. It has a large frame, is well-muscled, and is similar in stature to the bison and can weigh approximately 900 to 1300 pounds. They're very docile in nature. You wouldn't want to miss beefalo's meat, which is praised for its low fat and cholesterol. Number 9. Zubrin This is the largest known terrestrial land animal in the whole of Europe, popularly known as the Visant. When domestic cattle and bison are locked together in a cage and settle their business in a less violent manner, voila, the mighty Zubrin. Think beefalo 
with a longer history and a slightly different bison in the mix. The first Zubrin dates back to 1847. They're strong, resistant to disease, and tolerant of harsh weather conditions. Males can weigh up to 1,200 kilograms, and females up to 810 kilograms. You'd certainly agree that they earn their size. Number 8. Koi Wolf Some people think it's this horrible creature, but others think it's mystical and wonderful. I think it's fascinating to meet a coyote with a wolf's instinct, leaving out the whole getting eaten part. Don't you think? The koi wolf inherits both parents' instincts, with the body of the wolf and slightly slimmer mouth like a coyote. If you ever come across this exotic beauty, stand tall and don't show it your back, unless you want to know how ugly it can be. Number 7. Jag Lion The Jag Lion is a crossbreed between a male jaguar and a female lion. This cute yet ferocious beast is very rare, and there are two, perhaps the only two in the world, in Ontario at Bear Creek Wildlife Sanctuary. Their names, Jazara and Tsunami. The jaguar father passed his spots down to this jag lion cub. They give the impression of gentle giants, huge cats who, like your normal house cat, enjoy rolling around in their enclosure. Jag lions grow to be about the size of their parents. The female jag lion being fertile could theoretically be bred to back the purebred lions to introduce the melanism gene. Behold, I give you the new king of the jungle, this time with a black coat. Number 6. Leopon When it involves hybrids, the question of do they give the impression of being like mom or dad is more compelling. This hybrid offspring of a male leopard and a female lion simply appears as a spotted lion. The head of the animal resembles that of a lion, while the remainder of the body carries similarities to leopards. Leopons are big animals nearly the scale of a lion, with stout bodies, but their legs are shorter, sort of like leopards. Pretty unnatural if you ask me. Leopons, unlike lions, are good climbers. They also enjoy water, which frequently distresses their lioness mothers. I guess this is often what makes them more gorgeous, but don't you dare forget their nature. Better keep your distance. Now before you freak out, these beasts exist in captivity only. Number 5. Tigan Placing a tiger and a lioness together isn't the smartest move. We're all aware of the war we'd be creating between them. That's why scientists once again came up with another brilliant and less violent idea. Along came the Tigan, exhibiting characteristics of both parents. They can be spotted by their mother and obtain stripes from their father. The mane might appear somewhat shorter than the lion's mane. Unlike other cat hybrids, Tigans are smaller than their original parents, which is pretty normal given the growth inhibitory gene from their mother. Don't let their size fool you. They can produce lion roars and tiger growls. How terrifying could this be? Number 4. Liger Do you ever wonder what the ultimate cat would look like? Would it be bigger, faster, stronger, or more vicious? Neither a lion nor a tiger, but a liger. Ligers have sandy or dark yellow fur that is coated in characteristic faint stripes inherited from its mother. When standing on their hind legs, they may reach a height of 12 feet, which is twice the size of both parents combined, making it the largest cat around. Incredible! Despite their enormous size and the fact that their parents are two of the planet's most ferocious predators, ligers are considered to be gentle and submissive, especially when interacting with handlers. Grown in captivity, these huge cats are the kings, considering their loud lion roar. The lion should better watch out for this new king in the sanctuary. Number 3. Savannah Cat This domestic cat breed with African wild blood is praised for being extremely affectionate while bonding with its owner. Wouldn't you consider it a perfect present for cat lovers? They're more intelligent, more energetic, and easily more trainable than their sires. The savannah cat is sleek and slim, with long legs, a delicate neck and tail, wide ears that make them appear larger than they are, 
and despite being the same size as other domestic cats. Their markings, which are their most distinguishing trait, are due to their wild cat ancestry. There are several generations of which are quite similar, but the uncommon first generation has retained the servile's bigger size. Call it a small cheetah. This breed is notorious for being a prankster, hiding from you and then hitting you when you're not looking, climbing high and knocking things down, and generally being a pain, often at your expense. Number 2. Walfen As the name goes, these beautiful sea mammals are born and raised in captivity from the genes of a false killer whale and a bottlenose dolphin. The Walfin's 66 teeth appear to be a hybrid of their false killer whale's 44 teeth and a bottlenose dolphin's 88th parent's teeth. The skin color of the Walfin is a dark gray that appears to be a cross between the black skin tone of a false killer whale and the light gray skin tone of bottlenose dolphins. It's also estimated that a healthy Walfin will live for roughly 40 years and grow to an average size of 12 to 20 feet, which is likewise a medium between its parents' age and size. I don't know about you, but I've always had a good feeling about dolphin breeds. Number 1. Ragelhan When talking about psycho birds, it's a criminal offense not to mention the Ragelhan. Feared for its odd and aggressive behavior towards other roosters, this hybrid is one you don't want to mess with. It's a good thing they're unable to breed, because I can't imagine this bird taking over the globe. The Rackalahan or Rackalwild is a hybrid between a western cavicali and a grouse. It's primarily black, with brownish shoulders and wings, as well as a vivid metallic blue-purple to copper-red sheens on its head, chest, front of its neck, and sometimes the start of its back. As beautiful as it is, every now and then, nature shows us its cruel sides. Until next time, adios.